हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इशू द इशू इज बेस्ड ऑन द कंसेप्ट दैट इफ असेसी इज अनेबल टू पुट फोर्थ एनी क्लेम इन द इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न और इन द असेसमेंट प्रोसीडिंग्स कैन द असेसी हैज ए राइट टू क्लेम that amount first time in the revision application filed with the commissioner of income tax under section 264 section 264 triggers at that time when the assessee goes to the commissioner of income tax for revision of an order which is prejudicial to the interest to the assessee this issue has been taken by the bombay high court in the case of parmod r agarwal versus principal commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 464 itr at page number 367 the date of the order of writ petition is 13th october 2023 the facts of the case are very interesting in the present case the case relates to the assessment year 78 the assessee during the assessment year sold a flat which was inherited by him along with three others and when this capital gain calculation was done by the assessee he has not taken index cost of improvement at that time even during the assessment proceedings under section 143 subsection 3 he didn't take the index cost of improvement after that he realized that he missed to take the index cost of improvement so he filed an application under section 154 for the rectification which was not allowed by the assessing officer by saying that this claim was not taken by the assessee in the return of income so he rejected the application for rectification under section 154 of the assessee after that the assessee filed a revision application under section 264 with the commissioner of income tax to claim this index cost of improvement which was also rejected by the commissioner of income tax by saying that this claim has not been taken by the assessee in the return of income the assessee has no option other than to file the writ in the bombay high court the bombay high court by allowing the writ of the assessee remanded the matter back to the commissioner of income tax to consider the claim of the assessee de novo the bombay high court said that the commissioner of income tax has very wide powers under section 264 bombay high court said that section 264 is triggered in those circumstances where the assessee is unable to reach the appellate authorities and he has no other remedy available under the act the bombay high court also said that the commissioner of income tax has to apply his mind to the question whether assessee was taxable on any particular income or not bombay high court also said that section 264 can be resorted to in case of errors committed by the income tax authorities or by the assessee meaning thereby that revision under section 264 is possible in those cases where some errors have been done either by the income tax authorities or by the assessee the bombay high court also further said that section 264 can be resorted to in those cases where the assessee has grossly failed to put forth his claim at the time of filing of the return and he has come to the commissioner of income tax first time under section 264 friends this case is very important because there may be a number of situations where the assessee is not able to take his claim at the time of filing of the return of income but if he realizes after some time that he could claim some claim in the return of income but he is not able to claim that so he can 
go for the revision under section 264 according to me for this one best example can be that if the assessee has received interest on compensation on under the motor vehicle claim and <clears throat> he took this interest in his return of income but afterward he realizes that some high court has given the decision in the favor that this interest is not taxable then he can surely file his claim under section 154 by filing the rectification application under section 154 and even under the revision application under section 264 at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is parmod ag agarwal versus principal commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 464 itr at page number 367 the date of the judgment is 13th october 2023 thank you friends